Question 19.13. Questioner, then we have second density beings who have primarily motivation towards self and possibly a little motivation towards service to others with respect to their immediate family going into third density and carrying this bias with them but being in a position now where this bias will slowly be modified to one which is aimed toward a social complex and ultimately towards union with the all. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct. Question 19.14. Questioner, then the newest third density beings who have just made the transition from second are still strongly biased towards self-service. There must be many other mechanisms to create an awareness of the possibility of service to others. I am wondering, first about the mechanism and I am wondering when the split takes place where the entity is able to continue on the road to service to self that will eventually take him on to fourth density. I'm assuming that an entity can start, say, in second density with service to self and continue right on through and just stay on what we would call the path of service to self and never be pulled over. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The second density concept of serving self includes the serving of those associated with tribe or pack. This is not seen in second density as separation of self and other self. All is seen as self since in some forms of second density entities, if the tribe or pack becomes weakened, so does the entity within the tribe or pack. The new or initial third density has this innocent, shall we say, bias or distortion towards viewing those in the family, the society, as you would call, perhaps, country, a self. Thus though a distortion not helpful for progress in third density, it is without polarity. The break becomes apparent when the entity perceives other selves as other selves and consciously determines to manipulate other selves for the benefit of the self. This is the beginning of the road of which you speak. Question 19.15 Questioner, then, through free will, sometime within the third density experience, the path splits and the entity consciously chooses or he probably doesn't consciously choose. Does the entity consciously choose this path of the initial splitting point? Answer, I am Ra. We speak in generalities which is dangerous for always inaccurate. However, we realize you look for the overview, so we will eliminate anomalies and speak of majorities. The majority of third density beings is far along the chosen path before realization of that path is conscious. Question 19.16 Questioner can you tell me what bias creates the momentum towards the chosen path of service to self? Answer, I am Ra. We can speak only in metaphor. Some love the light. Some love the darkness. It is a matter of the unique and infinitely various creator choosing and playing among its experiences as a child upon a picnic. Some enjoy the picnic and find the sun beautiful, the food delicious, the games refreshing, and glow with the joy of creation. Some find the night delicious, their picnic being pain, difficulty, sufferings of others, and the examination of the perversities of nature. These enjoy a different picnic. All these experiences are available. It is the free will of each entity which chooses the form of play, the form of pleasure. Question 19.17 Questioner, I assume that an entity on either path can decide to change paths at any time and possibly retrace steps. The path changing being more difficult the farther along the path the change is made. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The further an entity has, what you would call, polarized, the more easily this entity may change polarity, for the more power and awareness the entity will have. Those truly helpless are those who have not consciously chosen but who repeat patterns without knowledge of the repetition or the meaning of the pattern. Question 19.18. Questioner, I believe we have a very important point here. It then seems that there is an extreme potential in this polarization the same as there is in electricity. We have a positive and negative pole. The more you build the charge on either of these, the more the potential difference and the greater the ability to do work, as we call it in the physical. This would seem to me to be the same analogy that we have in consciousness. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct. Question 19.19. Questioner, then it would seem that there is a relationship between what we perceive as a physical phenomenon, say the electrical phenomenon, 
and the phenomenon of consciousness in that they, having stemmed from the one creator, are practically identical but have different actions. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Again we oversimplify to answer your query. The physical complex alone is created of many, many energy or electromagnetic fields interacting due to intelligent energy, the mental configurations or distortions of each complex further adding fields of electromagnetic energy and distorting the physical complex patterns of energy, the spiritual aspect serving as a further complexity of fields which is of itself perfect but which can be realized in many distorted and unintegrated ways by the mind and body complexes of energy fields. Thus, instead of one, shall we say, magnet with one polarity you have in the body-mind-spirit complex one basic polarity expressed in what you would call violetray energy, the sum of the energy fields, but which is affected by thought of all kinds generated by the mind complex, by distortions of the body complex, and by the numerous relationships between the microcosm which is the entity and the macrocosm in many forms which you may represent by viewing the stars, as you call them, each with a contributing energy ray which enters the electromagnetic web of the entity due to its individual distortions. Question 19.20 Questioner, is this then the root of what we call astrology? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full question of this session. The root of astrology, as you speak it, is one way of perceiving the primal distortions which may be predicted along probability possibility lines given, shall we say, cosmic orientations and configurations at the time of the entrance into the physical mental complex of the spirit and at the time of the physical mental spiritual complex into the illusion. This then has the possibility of suggesting basic areas of distortion. There is no more than this. The past astrology plays is likened unto that of one root among many. Question 19.21 Questioner, I just have two little questions here at the end. The instrument wanted to ask if there were any other substances, foods, etc. that she should not eat or drink or things that she should not do because she does not wish to have poor contact for any reason. Answer, I am Ra. There is no activity which this instrument engages in which affects abilities negatively. There is one activity which affects its abilities positively. This is the sexual activity, as you would call it. There are substances ingested which do not aid the individual in the service it has chosen, this being that which you would call the marijuana. This is due to the distortion towards chemical lapses within the mind complex causing lack of synaptic continuity. This is a chemical reaction of short duration. This instrument, however, has not used this particular substance at any time while performing this service. We believe we have covered the use of such chemical agents as LSD, this being positive to a certain extent due to the energizing or speeding up of the vital forces. However, it is not recommended for this instrument due to the toll it takes upon the vital energies once the substance wears off. This being true of any speeding up chemical. Question 19.22 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is well aligned. You are being very conscientious. We request you take more care in being assured that this instrument is wearing footwear of what you would call, vibratory sound complex, shoes. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.